Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. <laughs> when we left off, uh, fucking Dahlia Hawthorne's now f officially admitted who she is, kind of. Yeah. Edgeworth knew the whole town was like, hey, you sh 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 about that. And then he's trying to say, oh, she was just, she was her sister, just an innocent bystander that happened to witness a murder. Fuck that bullshit. So now we gotta prove it was her, but we said the diamond because we're dumb so now we're gonna not do that yeah. um all right so one move that they have for murdering their sister it's in the note because there was the thing about the truth in the note talk to dahlia tell us time the whole truth must come out the truth it's got to be it the truth did i do it right this time well the music stopped oh well that's definitely yes. different i think <laughs> the story starts after terry falls escaped he called valerie and told her he wanted to meet this is a note she left it says, talk to Dahlia. Tell her this time, the whole truth must come out. Valerie Hawthorne gave Dahlia a warning. She told her she was going to reveal the world the whole truth. To the world. <laughs> the whole truth! <laughs> there was a dangerously important secret between Valerie and Dahlia. That's the reason Dahlia felt she had to kill Valerie. To keep her mouth shut permanently. It was like, oh, geez, what the fuck? <laughs> and just like... <laughs> A terrific story, Miss Faye. If you like fiction, that oh, is. Oh, shut the fuck up. Enlighten the court, Miss Faye. What is this secret that was so important? Where's your evidence? Now we probably Now we have them. the yeah. Dahlia and Valley Hawthorne and Terry Falls. There's only one important secret that connects them all. Yep. Oh, yes. I know this secret. Your Honor, the defense would like to request further testimony. Well, what testimony? Regarding the kidnapping five years ago, we believe it will explain a lot of things. Such as the nature of the important secret between the Hawthorne sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh. well. I'll grant your request for further testimony. I know it'll be pain for you, painful for you, but can you enlighten us once more, my little maple leaf? Oh, God, oh, please God. stop. Yes, I, I'll try, Mr. Judge. Putting on the old charm one more time, Dahlia. This will be the last time you hide behind your womanly wiles. <laughs> That's Wrecker. Yeah. You gotta wreck it. Five <laughs> years ago. Call me Wreck It Mask. Five okay. years ago, I was kidnapped by Mr. Falls. Okay. Yeah. The ransom price was a raw diamond. My sister Valerie brought it to the bridge. After she made the exchange, she shot Mr. Falls in the arm. Okay. That's when Mr. Falls tried to kill me by shoving me off the bridge from behind! I survived, but I was afraid I might be kidnapped again for my family's money. So I decided to change my identity and start a new life. Mm. The kidnapping left her emotionally scarred. <laughs> With her sister's help, she left the Hawthorne family and started all over again. And we're to believe after that, after all that, she murdered her sister? Preposterous. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth, Miss Faye. I yes, Your Honor. As you've heard, the witness is still traumatized from the kidnapping. I ask you again to be extremely gentle in your cross-examination. Mr. Edgeworth got to jump on me again. Heh. <laughs> we're not allowed to fight unless twist some arms. Listen up. We still got that info. That ace up our sleeve. What info? Come on, kitten. Don't say you've forgotten already. The fact that the kidnapping five years ago was staged. Yep. That's right. It was a fake kidnapping. Terry Falls told us that in the lobby. I do anything she says. Anything Dahlia says. Yep. What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by... Yeah. Me and Dahlia. And Valerie, too. Yes. That's it. The fake kidnapping is her best shot, Mia. That's her secret. Okay. So we gotta break out the fake kidnapping. Yep. But in which place? Five years but without ago. making you go. <laughs> yes. I don't know if we're allowed to press anything. Let me see what kind of things I got on the book. <sighs> so, all right, that doesn't have anything about the fake kidnapping. Now then. Hmm. It's still blacked out for some reason. Yeah. But. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and try and press the kidnapping five years ago and see what we get from there. Did you and Mr. Falls have a relationship? 
Yes, as a tutor. You were tutoring him? Mr. Falls? N no of course not! Don't be ridiculous! Mr. Falls came to the house to tutor me! <laughs> that makes sense. Five years ago she was only 14. He probably came up with the kidnapping plan during that time. The Hawthorns are in the jewelry trade and are quite wealthy, you see. Mmm, quite a clever fellow that Mr. Falls! Did I hear him right? Did he just call Mr. Falls a clever fellow? <laughs> oh boy. Grand's prices are all down and says about right to the bridge. Ba 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 ba! I heard the diamond is valued in the neighborhood of two million dollars. Two million dollars! It was still uncut, so it was about the size of a pint of milk. Mmm! <laughs> Two million dollar pint of milk? I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> the defendant demanded that her sister, Valerie, make the exchange. Not as a detective, of course, but as an individual. By the way, I want to ask you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why do you think he wanted to make the exchange up there on that mountain? If he ever got surrounded, it would be hard to escape. There's no thing a kidnapper wants to prevent, and that's police involvement. In a place like that, it would be easy to tell if he was being followed. With only one entrance to the mountain, he was, he was ensuring his safety. What a wickedly clever man that Mr. Falls is! Yeah, right. It was all your plan. Anyway, Valerie brought the diamond to the mountain and... Hey, the exchange shot Mr. Falls in the arm. I mean, there's no evidence that he's been mm -hmm. shot in the arm, so... That was a dangerous thing to do, considering you're being held hostage. Yes, but actually, that saved my life. What do you mean? <laughs> You see, Mr. Falls was holding a knife in his right hand. Somehow I just knew he was going to use it. I knew he was going to use that knife to kill me. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's why my <laughs> sister shot him. It was to save me. Hmm. Show me off the vision behind. <sighs> I'd like to hear more about what happened at, right at that moment. Well, when Mr. Falls was shot in the right arm, he let go of me. Uh, da, 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 there's the contradiction. Uh huh. I, I was dazed. I turned to try and run away, but Mr. Falls turned to grab me as well. As I ran past, he and I locked eyes for a second, and he gave me a large, bloodthirsty grin. B bloodthirsty grin! Ooh! And in the next instant. Splash. Death. <laughs> but not death. Because yeah. you're a fucking demon. Oh, oh God. I advise the court to remember that the river is 18 feet deep and incredibly swift. I, I was a strong swimmer, but I was knocked out. When I came to, I had been carried away by the river to a strange place. Cleveland. I'll never forget that day. The crumbling bridge, nowhere to run. And just one little shove from behind, that was it. <coughs> Before my sister could catch me, I fell into the river. Okay, so number one now. It made the exhibition point thing off of this one. She's more like a the witch than a demon. <laughs> witch! And then... Because it was... Uh, okay, no, it was these where it was... This one where it made the sound. I wonder if we can if we can go back to this. I've pressed that and I'll mm. have a different thing since we just talked about the right arm thing. Yeah. So let me see. Holding a knife in his right hand. Somebody just knew he was going to use it. Knew he was going to kill me with that knife. Exhibition point. Are you going to say anything different now? No. God damn it. But what? What? I'm. I'm not following you. What's happening? Because in this one, she was saying he was holding a knife in his right hand. Yeah. And then in this one, she said she was holding him with his right hand. What? I'm pretty sure that's the statement that she made, which is why I was like, "This isn't correct." Let you hear my at that moment. His falls were shot in his right arm. He let go of me. Or maybe I thought when she said no. right arm that that was, what was okay. Because so, when he got no, shot, he just let go of her. It wasn't. Okay. Anything. Whoops, I've wasted time. Ha -ha. Yep. Whoops. Okay, Bash, <laughs> go forward, go forward, go forward. I don't care about the fucking cutscene. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, <sighs> nothing else really. No. Screams to me. So. Oh, uh, man. So after she made the exchange, she shot Mrs. Falls in the. Well, technically. Why are you oh, presenting on. that to that? Because if the exchange was done, then he would have had the diamond. But I guess that doesn't... Okay, why? Well, but after shooting him in the arm, that doesn't have to do with the exchange? Well, it said after they finished the exchange, she shot him in the arm. Oh. Eh. Well, oh, I'll, you I'll, didn't save uh, before uh, that. No, I'll take those two points. It's, <sighs> it's fine. 
I'm not sure what the hell I could go off of through here anymore. I mean, I guess we can try and press these, but I don't think they'll bring us anything. And that's why you hid your identity? Yes, I only told my sister. Valerie Hawthorne, eh? See, he does the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she's the only one who knew about me. Meanwhile, legally, this witness has been deceased for five years. I... I didn't ever want something like that to happen to me again. So I decided to change my identity and start a new life. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And that new identity was Melissa Foster, right? Yes, my sister helped me get the official paperwork taken care of. That makes sense. Without an insider's help, doing all the paperwork would have been impossible. She was... Oh, she was the only person left in the world I can count on. And you... You think I killed her? There's no way I could. It's the moment of truth for this witness, too. Unless truth about this stage kidnapping comes out, everyone in the court will know how much of a Jabezel. Jezebel. Je Jezebel, she really is. Jabezel. <laughs> Jabezel. <laughs> there wasn't even a Z after the B. What did you do? I don't know. I've just got to prove that kidnapping was a hoax. But how? How do I prove that the kidnapping was a hoax. I don't know what I have that shows that the kidnapping was a hoax. <sighs> okay. Mm. Confidence police report. There's that. For the white birds, I should talk to tell this time the whole truth must come out. We have the photo. We have that. And then we have the diamond. Now profiles. Victim. Hot da, shot. Da, doesn't lawyer. matter. Doesn't matter. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything that really says that. Like I just don't have anything. Like, fell that... from bridge. No body found. That's what it said. Yeah. I don't know if. Nope. It doesn't go there. It's like at this point, I just have to like. Wait, 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 what was that? Oh no, so that's yeah, just a different just way of saying it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's, that's not the usual confusion she does. Mm. Ransom price was a diamond. My sister Valley brought it to the bridge. You mean this diamond? God damn it. Wow, <laughs> I'm doing my best okay. here. <sighs> Alright, the ransom price after she made the exchange, she shot Mr. Falls in the arm. Did we press that yet? Yeah, we've pressed everything now. Oh. From behind? What? I don't know. Why'd you present it <laughs> to that? But I've got- I'm it's just the trying from, to- It's the from, from behind everything. thing that I'm wondering about. Yeah, but that does, we don't have anything that contradicts that. Ugh, it's just like in the flashbacks. She was next to him. Yeah, but we don't have anything that... No. Is that rain? Anything that contradicts that. Fell from bridge. Oh, nope. <laughs> what in the world? I don't want to turn to a walkthrough. I know, I've got. I've just got no idea what's going on here. Ugh. I have no idea to prove that everything was staged. We've come so far. Uh, starting, um, life's. um. Huh. And. I think you already did that. Uses ranks for Dahlia. Lost to Eagle River five years ago. Because I was hoping that that part would be the contradiction oh, yeah. also is that it was lost and he technically never got it. But. It didn't do anything here. It, 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 it didn't. It didn't do anything. You, no, you already tried that. Yeah, here. I know. I'm just making sure that I didn't. That's how we fuck lost our first two. Right, I'm gonna figure this out. God damn it. Uh, maybe the map because you couldn't have been from behind. Oh, okay. What? You say that Mr. Falls pushed you into the Eagle River? Yes. However, that's hard to believe. But but it's true. I felt a push on my back. I'm certain of it. It was Mr. Falls. Oh, yeah, because if he was behind her, he would have to be, you know, standing on air because of the planks. I'm gonna assume. 
right? I mean, we'll get more answers from this, I guess. Because weren't but... they, like, right by it? Well, they were on the bridge. I don't know. Let's just keep it going. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't clear enough. I shouldn't have said that's hard to believe. I should have said that's impossible. Uh, impossible? I asked that the court recall the condition of Dusky Bridge now and five years ago. That bridge hasn't changed one bit in these last five years. Oh, yeah. If someone had pushed you from behind as you claimed... Instead of being carried away by the river... Oh. You would have been smashed by the bedrock below. A most certain death. I kind of seen that stuff earlier, but I didn't think that was actually going to no. come into play at all. It... <laughs> Do you understand now, Dahlia Hawthorne? The very notion that my client pushed you from behind is impossible! It... Ah! Your Honor, this event occurred five years ago. Why, for all we know, the water level in the river may have been higher back Don't then? Don't even... But it's 40 feet from the bridge to the river. A small change in the water level wouldn't have made a difference. Grr. <laughs> Little prick. Yep. <laughs> You're right. If the events occurred just as the witness has testified, then the defendant couldn't have pushed the witness into the river. Young lady, what's the meaning of this? Uh, I, 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 uh, you see, I... Just a moment, Your Honor. <laughs> it's true that the witness testified that the defendant pushed her into the river. However, she never stated that she fell from the back end of the bridge. What? What do you mean? After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. That's how I figured it happened anyways, yeah. so that's why I was confused. Same. If that's true, she would have fallen into the river. Well, Miss Hawthorn, is Miss Dresworth's explanation correct? Of course she's gonna go with it. Now that you mention it, I do remember now, when I fell off the bridge, my skirt got caught on one of the bridge's side wires. You can't be serious! What a ridiculous nonsense. Order! Order in the court! Seems Miss Faze Assault has finally reached its conclusion. Lies, lies, lies. Not now, Mia! This is no time to retreat. Unfortunately for you, this is just the start of Miss Faye's assault. What? what? That's you. Why am I <laughs> doing that? I believe your reasoning went something like this, Mr. Edgeworth. After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. However, once again, I'm forced to say that's impossible. R ridiculous. What's so impossible about it? Because your flawed logic contradicts the court record. Um. Um. Uh. So is this? What was his logic again? That she got pushed aside. Yeah, that she got pushed to the side off the bridge. Oh. Uh. I can't say. She could have gotten pushed aside. Because, like, his right arm is what oh, was shot. Oh, well, there we go. What? Look at the height of the bridge ropes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can easily use that. That's got to be it, right? I didn't it save, so... Uh, Your Honor, all the answers are right here in this photo. Yes! <laughs> Take a look at the wires supporting both sides of the bridge. They extend up to about five feet off the ground. Uh, the, the bridge, but... Yeah, I mean. <laughs> it would be impossible to push someone off from there. But, but let's remember the size and strength of the defendant. No, no, no. Wires like this would be a, wouldn't be a problem for him. He could have easily picked up 14 on a girl and thrown her over. But that's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so young and already so forgetful, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh! Mr. Falls had been shot in the right arm. Ah! And more importantly, Valerie Hawthorne had her gun trained on him at point blank range. Ah! <laughs> So, Mr. Falls throwing the witness off the bridge? That is clearly impossible. Gah! <laughs> order, order! Well, what is the meaning of this? Talia Hawthorne, you jumped into the Eagle River intentionally. What? 
What is this? Of course you have an objection. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, what do you mean by such ridiculous remark? I yes, that's ridiculous. My sister was there to help me. She had her gun in handcuffs. She could have saved me. Jumping into a raging river like that, that would have been suicide. Perhaps, but still, that's exactly what you did. You are probably confident that you can handle the swift current. But even more so, the witness had a much more compelling reason for jumping into the river. Oh, then what is it? What was so important that she want to jump into the river? I'm gonna go and save again now just to make sure we don't go in and it. it. The witness is still alive. This fact alone explains everything. This is why she risked her life by jumping into the rapids of Eagle River. This has to be the Yeah. Diamond. Oh dang, four bars, you see that? Yeah. Five years ago, something else disappeared along with Dahlia that day. The item that Valerie brought up the mountains with her, the two million dollar diamond. Ugh! Ugh. It, no, no, it, it can't be. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes, Dahlia had it planned from the beginning. The two million dollars. She was going to keep it all for herself. She forced Mr. Falls to help her fake the kidnapping. At the last minute, she betrayed him and threw herself into the river. With the ransom tucked away safely in her backpack. Oh! Why, that's... That's simply ridiculous. We know that look from her. Yeah. <laughs> order, order, order! Your Honor, five years ago the witness was only 14 years old. Do you really think a 14 year old is capable of such a demonic plan? Yeah. Uh, apparently <laughs> with this bitch. This woman is a demon. Dude, you were right. <laughs> yeah. And there was one more person who helped make a demon out of her. Her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. You mean the victim was involved in the kidnapping as plot as well? But she was a detective then. You're saying she participated in your sister's kidnapping? Precisely. I'm sure that it weighed heavily on her conscience for the past five years. This is the sole reason behind the victim's murder. What do you mean by that? On the day of the murder, after receiving the phone call from Mr. Falls, Valerie called her sister, Dahlia. And then she told her what she was planning to do. Planning to do? She's going to tell the whole truth. As she wrote in her notes. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> that is what sealed Valerie Hawthorne's fate. That is when you hatched your demonic plan to kill two birds with one stone. A plan that would ensure neither of your accomplices to the kidnapping would talk. And that is why you killed your sister, Valerie Hawthorne. <laughs> Everyone's just like, whoa. <laughs> Who is that laughing at a time like this? Oh boy, she's in bitch yep. face. The butterflies are gone. <laughs> Forgive me, it's just hilarious. Well, witness? Is that you? <laughs> huh. You amuse me, woman, Miss Mia Fey. What? You can certainly weave an exciting tale. Naturally, you have the evidence to back it up, don't you? Uh, evidence? <laughs> evidence that I planned the kidnapping, of course. That at 14, I plotted it with Mr. Falls and my sister. W well, I... And one more thing. What happened to the two million dollar diamond? If you can't provide evidence to at least show that... Mmm, why don't we say? I... I don't know. What a joke. You, Miss Faye. Why do you keep saying my name's in all caps? <laughs> Are you stupid or something? I think that's her saying it like in a very angry tone. Yeah. You, Miss Faye. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like no, that. I know, but... I know. <laughs> <sighs> How can I prove a fake kidnapping that happened five years ago? I don't even have decisive proof that Valerie Hawthorne's murder of Valerie Hawthorne's murder. Well, it seems that we've come to the end. To be honest, the witness's behavior does raise certain suspicions. However, I'm forced to reject the assertions made by the defense. <sighs> of course you are. Is this it? Is it really over? That girl has made a fool of me and there's nothing I can do about it. Huh. 
That evidence the trial is over? Who decided that? M Mr. Armando! Come on now, kitten. Haven't you figured out that you can make your own rules? What? For example, even if there's new evidence, there's still testimony. T testimony On the day in question, Jolly Hawthorne murdered her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. She hid her body in the trunk of Mr. Fall's stolen car and then went to meet with him. Disguised as her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. That's what you think, right? I yes, that's right. In that case, there's only one answer, right? There's only one person left who can testify about Valerie Hawthorne's murder. Since there's no proof, there's only one thing left to do. Who's the one person who can testify to that demon woman's crimes? I mean, that would be Terry yep. Falls, so... Your Honor, the defense wishes to call a new witness. A new witness? Yes, we would like to hear the testimony of Terry Falls. The defendant? There's only one person that can shed any further light on the situation. Only one person that knows what Dahlia's role in the kidnapping was. Only one person that can say whether the person in the photo is Valerie Hawthorne. Or whether it was in fact her younger sister Dahlia disguised as her. There's only one person who can solve this riddle once and for all. And that person is Terry Falls. Well, Mr. Edgeware, what is your take on this? <sighs> He's like, sure, whatever. <laughs> Why not? The prosecution has no objection. <laughs> you underestimate me. Very well. Bailiff, bring the defendant to the witness stand. <sighs> this is my last chance, Mr. Falls. My last chance to establish Dahlia's guilt. You're all I have left. Oh, boy. No pressure. Just No saying. pressure at all. Ha. Don't ha. fuck it oh, up. No. Defendant. You've heard everything that's been said up to this point, yes? Uh, um, I don't believe it. No way. Dahlia died five years ago. Valerie betrayed me. Mr. Falls, I don't know what she said to you five years ago, but one thing is clear. Dahlia is very much alive, and you were used for two million dollars. That's not true. Mr. Falls, there's only one question I want the answer to. Two days ago on Dusky Bridge, who did you meet? Was it Valerie Hawthorne or was it Dahlia Hawthorne? Dahlia, Dahlia, did you betray me? Uh, five years ago she promised, she promised never ever betray each other. <laughs> Terry. Dahlia? It's, it's true, <laughs> you are alive. You don't trust me anymore? That makes me sad. Tell the truth, the real truth. I I believed in you. I shouldn't need to say it. You already should know. Huh? But there is one thing that I will say. My life is in your hands right now, Terry. Oh. No, she's playing him like a fucking yeah. fiddle. Dahlia. I will allow Mr. Falls to testify once and once only. Well then, Mr. Falls, yours will be the final testimony in this trial. Uh. Witness? Uh. Eey, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, 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 water. Please, water. Hmm? Can't talk. Need water. Huh. Oh, well, I guess that would be my coffee instead. <laughs> At least still uh, match the way he's probably feeling right now. Darker and bitter than hell itself. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh this boy. is not boding well for us. That day, 4 p.m., I stopped the car. I was in front of Bridge. She wasn't there, so I waited on Bridge. I watched my car from Bridge. I never put no body in that car. Finally, one woman came. She stood front of me. <laughs> we talked. Then she left. That was... That was Valerie. Not my Dahlia. Oh my god. Fuck. Well, he's dumb. <laughs> well, he also just got played like a fiddle yeah. on the thing. Mr. Falls, you're covering for her. Do you think she would do the same for you? That's enough, Miss Faye. His last statement was a fitting way to end the final testimony of the trial. <sighs> well then, Miss Faye... Please proceed to your cross-examination. Is this how you want to it? Is this how you want it to end, Mr. Falls? 
Another guilty verdict to go along with your death sentence? There's only one person who can stop it. You can. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <sighs> I'm gonna try and go to the end here so I can press it, get some information, and then fucking... How can you be so sure? Gado can help me in the end. It was raining at the time, and sunset that day was at 5 o'clock. It would have already been pretty dark on that mountain at 4.30. Eh. Please, Mr. Falls, this is your last chance. You've already taken the fall once for something you didn't do. Eh. That woman. It wasn't Dahlia. Oh my god. Stop right there. What more needs to be said? Mmm. Even if it means the death penalty. Even if it means taking the blame for murder. You'll still, what, you'll still do whatever necessary to protect her. Won't you, Mr. Falls? I know it's obvious, but he's clearly lying. He's been cursed by Dahlia Hawthorne. I'll probably go to his grave still believing in her. Mr. Falls. Even if you can show he's lying, the poor guy will still be cursed. You'll still have to point out the contradiction anyways. That's the curse of being a defense lawyer, I guess. Alright, so... And that's that why she was so upset with Phoenix, because he was under that same spell. Yeah, he really was. And she's like, open your fucking eyes, not you again, like this whole situation. Yeah. Uh. Alright, I mean, it's the 4th three versus 4, but he was there ahead of time, so... Mm -hmm. She wasn't there, so I waited on the bridge. I watched my car from bridge. I never put no body in that car. So, I mean, if he was watching his car from the bridge, then she would never had a chance to put anything in there. But that doesn't look good on us. But mm -hmm. finally, one came, she stood in front of me. We talked and she laughed. Okay, um, let me try this one. You were watching the car? That bridge, other side is broken. Nobody can come from there. So, I was watching car. <sighs> What else were you expecting him to do? I suppose that's the obvious thing to do, but... Something's bothering me. I'm getting that feeling. A contradiction? I wonder what's on the other side of the broken bridge anyway. No one lives there. Oh! There's a small shrine up on the mountain, but that's it. Anyway, nobody came! No car, nothing! Alright, so the contradiction's in here. Yeah. Now then, let me check the map. So the trunk was facing him. Yeah. Maybe the photo of the trunk? Well, I mean, maybe this photo then. Why? But, or maybe it's not. Because the thing is that if he was waiting on the bridge, why would she be on the opposite side of the bridge now? She would have had to walk around him to go on that side of the bridge. It would have just been really awkward. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, though. It just seems weird. This is not- I mean, I can try and push something on the previous part here of... the map. No, so that's no. not it. Uh, what about um, presenting the, the body in the trunk to him watching the car? Nope, not that. You picked watching the car, though? I don't think you moved. You stayed on that. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I thought it was saved on that. Oh, oh god, now I'm all over here. Oh fuck, oh fuck, <sighs> oh fuck, oh fuck. No. Alright. Right there. No, it's still not that. No. <sighs> so, maybe... Alright, I, I, I need to move again. I forgot. I'm not saved on the fucking hell. I'm so, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. Alright, so the only one I could throw here would be the witness's photo. Oh. Okay, it must be them being backwards. Yeah. So when you got to the bridge, no one had arrived, huh? So you waited on that bridge. You're sure of that? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. You're sure, huh? Well, then I'm sure too, Mr. Falls. I'm sure that you're lying. Huh? Uh, what? 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 Oh, I would love to hear your rationale on this, Miss Faye. Oh, you will. 
You want to know who arrived at the bridge first? Just look at this photo. It's perfectly clear. Yeah. Obviously, the person that came first would be the one at the end of the bridge, right? But, but that's the victim at the end of the bridge. <laughs> Flip. Precisely my point. In other words, Mr. Falls, you must have arrived at the bridge after she did. <laughs> um, um, Mr. Falls, <laughs> please don't get so worked up. We just want the truth. Uh, I got there around four o'clock. It's true. <gasps> Gasp. I, I had somewhere to go. A special place. Did you go to this special place before you went to the bridge? Yeah. It's an old temple about 15 minutes from the bridge. Five years ago, me and Dahlia, we promised each other. We swore we wouldn't betray each other. Oh, jeez. She brought a memento to represent our love. A memento? It's a necklace with a glass bottle. <laughs> Five years ago, I hid it under a base of tree there. <gasps> it, this, it's a special memory for me. This is it. This is what I want to get. When to get. This little bottle on a necklace is your memento? God damn it. It's quite charming, but it looks empty. Because she's poisoned you already. Yeah, your Honor, you heard what my client said. He arrived at the scene at 4 o'clock. But he, len he then left his car unattended and walked away. He was gone for approximately 30 minutes. Yeah. With that much time, Dahlia Hawthorne could have easily hidden the body in the trunk of his car. No! Yes. <laughs> Indeed. There certainly was enough time for it. I've still got a chance. Mr. Falls, there's no mistaking it. Uh, uh. Oh. Huh? Mr. Falls? Oh my Whoa. god, he just poisoned himself? Whoa. Th that's enough. Please. Whoa, witness? I, I promised her five years ago. If it ever happens that we can't trust each other no more, then we're supposed to drink bottle. Uh, no, stop the trial. Jeez. Your Honor, we need a recess. <laughs> I I was stupid, couldn't keep promise, so I did it. I it was empty because he did drink it. This and now it's kicking in. No, we were so close. Just a little more. I was going to prove your innocence. No, don't want that. Don't trust self. Jesus. Maybe kill again. Kill sweet Dahlia again. But you did- Mr. Falls! Mr. Ar Armando. D thanks for the cop- Wait. What? Yo! What? <laughs> Wait a second. What? He was in on it? Mr. Falls! Yo! Yo, 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 Um... Uh... Um... 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 You wanna read your line? And so my first trial ended, suddenly and tragically. And ended with no winners, only losers. I ended up with a wound that cut so deep into my soul I thought it'd never heal. I'm sure it was the same for the young prosecutor as well. But one person. The true criminal, Dahlia Hawthorne. She left the courtroom with a secret smile on her demonically sweet face. Dude. <laughs> Unforgivable, that witch. M Mr. Armando. We were so close to the truth. It was right there in front of us. Is that why you're always smirking? <laughs> you were just a little too soft, kitten. It's my fault. It's all my fault that Mr. Halls killed himself. Don't cry, kitten. You're going to make my coffee all salty. Uh, I knew it. I kn knew I wasn't cut out for this. <sighs> Mia. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't you get it? You can't cry yet. Whoa. Damn. Ow. Dude, Ow. what the Ow. fuck? 
The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. What the fuck? M Mr. Armando, what the fuck did you just do to your hand? Maybe, actually, maybe he wasn't in on it. Maybe it was, maybe it was the fact that he gave the coffee over is that it gave him a chance to poison. That's why he asked for waters because he wanted to poison himself. Oh. So Godot's pissed because he handed him a coffee, which led to him poisoning himself. Mm. That's why he just got so angry and shattered his cup. Yeah. So we went a little. I went a little. Yeah, we, we, we jumped went. a little bit on that one. <laughs> it made it seem like a dope poison yeah. the coffee and gave it to him, but but he's I think just like fuck. he's just pissed because he because that would that was a a secret way to you know poison himself instead of just straight up down in the bottle because then they would have stopped everything. Yeah. Oh my god. God damn. Anyways, I don't know if you said this, but this is yours no, now. No, so. no matter how tough the case, no matter how bitter the memories. They always fade over time, and you file them away and eventually forget them. It's probably why he's just like, fuck! <laughs> yeah. And I'll assume that from there he must have Alright, now why is Phoenix in this hospital? <sighs> I guess now, that's you. Maybe. One year later in this very same courthouse, I myself got wrapped up in that case. With this whole yeah. fucking thing, and with all that, yeah. and oh, man, oh, boy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Only after that did Dahlia Hawthorne get put on trial for her crimes. <sighs> the verdict that was ultimately handed down to her was... Wasn't it not guilty? Oh, it was guilty. No. Okay. Guilty, of course. Naturally, when the verdict was read, she had a perfect angelic smile on her face. Mm. It was funny all over. At least, that's what I thought at the time. Unfortunately, I couldn't have been more wrong. It's been five years, but now something has happened that's made me remember all this. You kind of sound like Edgeworth right now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just one I know. of those, uh, It's a serious uh, uh, phoenix. Yes. Oh, boy. What in the world? Did he accidentally get poisoned and was put in the hospital? <laughs> well, it's now time for the final episode in this wild-ass series. For real? Like, what? The finale Wait, this is the, of the Phoenix, of, Wright, the Phoenix trilogy. Wright stuff? This is the end of the Phoenix Wright oh. trilogy. The original Phoenix Wright trilogy. We start the beginning of the end next time. Bridge? Oh, please don't talk about bridges anymore. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs>